Today, I'm gonna unbox, review, and set up these security cameras. I bought this eight camera Zossi security camera system from Amazon for like 200 bucks, link in the description. I actually bought two of them, so I'd have 16 cameras. This here is the DVR that'll record the security cameras. And here's the Zossi instruction manual. Here we have the power supply and we have the mouse. This box has the hardware to install the cameras, some stickers for the windows, instruction manuals. This is a power supply splitter and this is the power supply that'll go into it. Here we have wires that we will run to each of the Zossi security cameras, and here's an actual camera, which is a nice indoor-outdoor camera with an aluminum housing that takes a pretty nice image. Let's take a look at the back of the DVR. We have our BNC connectors here for connecting your camera up to the DVR. You have a BNC video out connector here, along with a RCA audio out connector down here. You have a HDMI out connector, a VGA out connector. These are all for monitoring. You have uh, four audio inputs, which these cameras don't have audio, but there's a really cheap, easy way to add audio to them. Uh, we have two USB ports for the mouse. We have our network connector for hooking it up to our router. And we have a power supply down here. Let's open the box up and see what it looks like on the inside. We have a screw on the side, screw on this side, two screws in the back. So I bought this unit with a pre-installed one terabyte Seagate drive. Uh, but if you were installing your own drive or you wanted to swap this out to upgrade it, uh, it's just the screws that hold the drive down right here and then the two connectors. It's a pretty simple installation. Okay, let's connect this thing up and get it working. First, we plug the power in. This is the power for the cameras. Then the other end goes into this splitter that splits it up into four for the four different cameras. That goes into the end that's marked connect to DVR. And then the other side of this BNC connector goes onto here with a twist. We've connected the four cameras up to the DVR and up to their power supply. Now the other end needs to be hooked up to the camera, which is pretty easy. There is a side that says connect to camera. You plug the red into the red and the blue BNC connector goes on with a turn as well. I've connected the other three surveillance cameras, so all of them are now connected to the DVR. I'm gonna connect the mouse to the back of the unit connect our HDMI cable so we can monitor the cameras, and connect that power. The front power light has gone on. All right, here we are at the main window uh, when you first start it up. And uh, this thing is feature packed. You're gonna wanna download the app. That'll allow you to monitor the cameras on uh, your phone, but you can also access the cameras using your computer. And you're gonna wanna go to uh, the to Zossi's website and uh, download the owner's manual because there's a lot of stuff that this does. Uh, very quickly here on the main screen, um, you can change month, day, year. We can go back in and change this. Uh, but uh, you want to know GM mean time, uh, Greenwich mean time, where you are located. We're in California, so that's my estate. Uh, the date and the time, you don't really care about at this point because uh, you'll hook it up to a network and then you can uh, sync it with a network time server. Uh, and this way it matches your phone and your computer. Uh, so here we are with uh, the eight cameras showing. If I right click, I can look at a single camera like channel one. Um, or I can go multi and look at channel one through four, or even there's this neat version down here where you see all of them, but one camera is bigger than the rest. A uh, couple of neat things that it does, color. Uh, you can adjust the color, the brightness of every each individual camera, which is great because you might have a camera that's in outside and it's in a bright area, or it's inside and it's in a dark area, or it may need you know more color saturation, higher contrast, uh, you can hit default to get back to what's normal. Uh, but uh, that's pretty neat that you can adjust the color for each camera. Uh, PTZ, which is pan, tilt, zoom, that's for adding pan, tilt, zoom cameras. Uh, audio, you can add audio to these things using um, one of these guys right here, which I'll show you uh, in a little bit how that works. Um, let's click out of here. 
If we go down to uh, main menu, um, we go into setup, basic. Uh, here, yeah, date and time. So you can uh, sync with network time server this way once you get it onto your network. Uh, and that is highly recommended. Um, under here, I think it's an alarm motion maybe yeah so each camera you can set up areas that it uh, when it detects motion it triggers the camera to record and if it doesn't detect motion then the camera is not recording so it saves you tons of hard drive space and you can also eliminate areas because uh, if you say had this pointed to your uh, front lawn and your street was viewable and cars were always going by you wouldn't want to record every time a car went by so you could uh, click and drag to deselect, you know, this area over here, and it won't record when uh, that area is seen. Uh, let's just X out of here. So that's a very neat feature. Um, but this system has a ton of features. You can schedule recording times. Um, you can record based on uh, uh, motion. You can, uh, I think, combine both of those. Uh, you can. Um, the PTZ cameras that it'll do. Uh, in addition to that, it'll email you for like various alarms or various things. Uh, it's it's incredible how many different things this can do. Uh, like I say, you can watch, look at it on your phone or you can look at it on a computer. You can back up the files to a, a, a USB drive and then look at them on your computer and save them that way. So you need to get the owner's manual to see everything that this thing can do because uh, it is feature packed. Um, for now, let's go back to here and one through four so you can see me on all four beautiful cameras as I'm gonna pick this one up, isn't that neat? Um, so for now, I'm gonna run outside and I'm gonna start installing these things and I think it's gonna take several weeks of me going through this entire system to figure out exactly how everything works and get it all dialed in so it's perfected, you know, between my phone and computer and all that stuff. Um, I hope you enjoy this video and you find it useful. If you do, please uh, hit like and subscribe, particularly subscribe. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. We currently have about 37,000. Uh, I think that's where it is. Um, and uh, when we get to 100,000, YouTube will send us a cool plaque. So we really appreciate that. Plus, in addition to how-to videos, we make a ton of fun videos, like we make uh, travel videos and daily vlogs and all sorts of interesting stuff. So if you could like and subscribe, I really appreciate that. Um, if not, hey, you know, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Right now, let's start installing these cameras. So to add audio to a security camera, you just buy a little gizmo like this for like seven bucks. And what it is, is it looks like this. It's got a microphone on it with a uh, sensitivity adjustment and then three wires, power in, power out, and then the actual audio. So you take your camera like this and you have your video connection on your camera and your power connection. So you put the power connection together and now this becomes your power, it loops through to the camera, this is still your video, and now you have an audio signal with this microphone. Pretty neat, right? All right, so I've got a camera set up right here. This one here catches the living room. And with not only one, but two cameras in the bedroom, it should capture sexy time.